figures figures i'm very glad kuona namna hii naambiwa rudisha wewe chini kwa safi chochote Hello guys, welcome to another episode right here Live Nation. Today is just that moment we've been waiting for, <laughs> the free flow moment. Today we are just going, going and going and we are going to discuss more in this sitting with my brother right here who has joined me. I'll not introduce him, I'll give him chance to introduce himself so that you can get to know more about him. He's a guy of many traits and uh, I can't say much about him because there are some limitation I have over it. But is going to give us what he has what he can share and we are going to enjoy this segment so stay tuned to the end and if you're new to this channel subscribe if you're returning thank you for coming back again to support this channel to grow we really appreciate and let's jump straight to the conversation of the day today our topic is basically about uh, trusting god's plan and time for your life and you're going to know how god has worked with my brother right here and uh, how he can work with you even your circumstances as you go through that your faith may be built to us knowing that god is the giver of all and the sustainer of all things so welcome in studio i uh, know there's somebody who's wondering who you are and uh, what do you do and where do you come from so you have the floor is yours <laughs> introduce yourself uh, <laughs> uh, thank you my brother uh-huh. thank you so much um my name is Victor Mutama. Uh, I come from western part of Kenya. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm a lawyer. Busia County, Butula sub county. Mm-hmm. So all my parents are lawyer mm-hmm. and they're both alive. Uh, mm-hmm. Coming from a family of five and I'm a third born. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so I'm here with my brother today and I'm so grateful for the invite mm-hmm. because me I love speaking about God I love talking things that are concerning God ah. because God is life mm-hmm. and without him mm-hmm. there's no life ata uh, tungekuwa mm-hmm. uh, professionally I'm a soldier yeah that's what I do for a living mm-hmm. I'm not a pastor. <laughs> so let's go straight. <laughs> when someone you are a soldier. Uh, somebody might wonder a soldier. There are quite a lot of soldiers, a lot of them. So which specific soldier are you? Um maybe I will not go into detail so mm-hmm. much. Mm-hmm. But I I I I'm, I'm not a oh, soldier. You know even get watchmen they, they they call themselves yeah, soldier. themselves soldiers mm-hmm. yeah but i'm working uh for the government mm-hmm. yeah my work is simply to defend mm-hmm. the nation and the people inside mm-hmm. it mm-hmm. um yeah yeah so how was how was growing up you said you are third born. Yeah, I'm a third born. I was growing up with those two guys ahead of you. How was life when you were beginning up? When I was growing up, uh, <laughs> now there's, there's a lot of. <laughs> okay, our first born is a is a gentleman, mm-hmm. and uh, I came. We have this difference in, in, in here, so I came later on. Mm. Um, second born um, is a lady. Mm-hmm. Uh, they are both married, except me. Yeah, I'm not married, I'm single. Mm-hmm. And um, my brother was, uh, as I was growing up, mm-hmm. he was absent. Mm-hmm. Because, yeah, Likwasha grow. Ameondokea ile mambo za home ya mimi na kuanza ku 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 kuaso you know yeah my now my sister mm-hmm. the one we we grew up with mm-hmm. 
and uh, my parents, my mama, my mama, my mother, like, uh, I salute you wherever you are because mm-hmm. this woman shaped us. Mm-hmm. He, she shaped us very well. Mm. In knowing God, uh, she loves God. Yeah. And she's the one who every Sunday in the morning, whether you like it or not, if only you have to go to church. <laughs> Doesn't matter what you're going to do in church. Ninu naenda kufanya vango enda kanisa. Yes, she was that type of a woman, very strict woman. And uspo enda kanisa unagongwa vibaya sana. I remember the coffee was not the the the. the it came from behind like yeah. this yes so it could in a queen wa ju kitambo ufike chini your decision is we shall we shall go and talk about you are gone you know so i salute mama uh, i never knew the 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 beatings ile kusema watoto wasikizo sema kutukazia maisha could actually she was saving us mm mm-hmm. At that moment you could feel like oh this woman is just making life hard for us but now as an adult mm. I can see mama saved us mm-hmm. my sister if uh, one day maybe you could host her mm-hmm. endo alikuwa anapata vichapo mingi sana on my behalf no <laughs> sometimes on my behalf <laughs> but now hata ukiongea nae sometimes when you have uh, talks mm-hmm. hey, we say my mama saved us mama saved us because now she's married akona watoto wawili mm-hmm. she's a mother mm-hmm. and ameona mama alimsaidia sana mm-hmm. yes and i think uh, mamas from back then our mothers they did a very good job because my mom also used to do the same sunday nikifuli <laughs> so kama when the church jua yeah. palutenda kushinda <laughs> Yeah. My But, mama was a lioness. Uh-huh. I, I don't understand. I, I I don't think there is a woman in the uh, kwa generation mm-hmm. and as a kwa kama hiyo generation ya wazazi wetu. Yeah. They were really they, they knew how to to bring us up. Bring us they up. knew how to kucheza na psychology yetu because angekupiga akufanyaje lakini kidogo hivi anakuita ukule. Mhm. Yes, she loved you. Only ball, only balance everything. Alikuwa anapiga mistakes zenye ulikuwa unafanya. You can see now wale watu sasa hizi unapatana na wao kabisa mm. morals zimepotea. Mm-hmm. I'm sorry to say, to say this but you've seen increased deaths yeah. of uh, ladies young age. I remember those age, those days ukiwa hiyo age yani hata utokangi kwa boma. Mm-hmm. You see Uko mama ni, was a simba yes unafanya house course kama punda mm-hmm. but they knew what they were doing mm-hmm. ukitoka hapo yani the the new uh, life adulting is not easy they need to make you strong so mm-hmm. that ukifika pale you can stand for yourself mm-hmm. yes you see say generation it's a weak generation I'm sorry to say that we are, but uh, we are yeah. pampered people are pampered yeah mtoto ana you get a, You know me Miss Juni lipata simu nikiwa niko wapi? I don't know. After high school mimi. <laughs> And it was it, me, I, hey, sasa hizi unakutana na mtoto mdogo wako sijui. You know me sasa hizi hizi system ya education imefanya nikasahau kabisa. Ni sijui inaitwa pre nini. Okay, me I remember eh 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 hizo vitu hazikukua. Mhm. So un, Usaizo unapata mtoto mdogo atarejo four gadget akona gadget akona smartphone you know mm-hmm. so na ati ati baba mama then you get mimi sijui kama mama yangu alikuwa anakuita hivyo <laughs> come sit here leave him <laughs> you know, alone leave her yeah, uh, uh, pampered such that uh, they're yeah. becoming weak yeah we're becoming weak So in in line to that growing up process mm-hmm. when when now did you now reach a level of deciding now on to be a follower of Christ on a personal level apart from moms pushing you to yeah. church all that you know mama pushing me i was not decided i was doing it out of habit because mm-hmm. najua mama atasema mm-hmm. so um, i prepare psychologically kesho ni sunday ah, mama atasema twende church mm-hmm. so you go there 
because of mama mama amesema you see but not that you mm-hmm. home yamua kuenda so me i started knowing christ knowing christ it was i can remember it mm-hmm. vividly mm-hmm. i was in standard 6 mm-hmm. and uh, that sunday morning mama had gone to fetch water mm-hmm. uko kwa mtoni mm-hmm. so nimeamka ah sijaona mama you see mm-hmm. so nimeketi hapo nje home nimeketi tu hapo nje na na utajua ya asubuhi yeah because you could not serve yourself those days mm-hmm. you go to the kitchen to serve yourself mama would kill you <laughs> protocol uh, uh, you wait for mama <laughs> to serve you hata kama unaona kabisa unakufa nja mandazi ndio hizo you just you 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 kula rufu takula kwa macho na kula rufu kula rufu so yeah that morning there was a, a full gospel church mm-hmm. just like um, let's say 500 meters mm. toka pale tulikuwa tunaishi and uh, it was I, i think it was praise and worship mm-hmm. yeah because it was so they were singing you know and the instrument and the, that yeah so i'm seated there and i'm like wow i had an askiza watu wanaimba kabisa praise mm-hmm. and worship mm-hmm. i cannot remember the song but it was ilikuwa mzuri sana mm-hmm. and as i was seated there nikajiambia let me go see mm-hmm. let me today go let me go see wa watu wanaimba vizuri hivi eh so you nikaenda kaingia kwa church mm-hmm. bado wanaimba eh and mm-hmm. people were dancing and it was so cool good eh nikakaa nyuma ya church mm-hmm. i was there ikaisha kuisha wa, watu wakaketi chini so you know wezi ya muka utoke mm-hmm. watu wameketi mm-hmm. chini and mm-hmm. like eh hey. ah, so me i decided asi jaoga nikotua hapo decided nitaketi hapo pia mm-hmm. mimi sikize neno mm-hmm. Hey, the, I remember he, he was a bishop was a bishop uh, I remember the name Bishop John Chebet mm-hmm. cannot forget that name hey which the word touched me mm-hmm. yes you can this guy okay come here gang up hey classics I don't remember man I am miss you you niliangu kama mathematics so you watch me to count again <laughs> <laughs> you know i was in standard 6 that's what i remember mm-hmm. and going to standard 7 yeah so he preach and um, at the end akasema ni nani mm-hmm. anataka kumpokea yesu kwa maisha yake mm-hmm. nani anataka kuokoka hiyo siku ni roho yangu ilikuwa imekuwa ni pesi sana so watu wazima niliona wakinua but mimi pia niliunua mkono nilipata ni mkono juu uh-huh. and because i'm a kid watu walikuwa na ignore i think it's a play mm. but baba kanita akanita was the first one akaita akasema hata yesu mm. alisema acheni watoto mm. waje kwangu watu walikuwa nawafungia lakini yesu alisema nini acheni so watoto wakuje mm. and the bishop akaniambia nisirudie maneno fulani nikafanya hivyo mm. then akaniambia ni si watu wakiondoka church ni baki mm-hmm. yeah, mimi nikabaki mm. then kulikuwa uh, na woman and i pray god amweke sana maisha mingi penye yako mm. mm. alikuwa anaitwa mama Kinyi mm-hmm. mama Kinyi mama Kinyi alinichukua and akania point mimi ni kwenda funza Sunday school you know that time he ilikuwa like in Tanzania aje kitu mm-hmm. it was a, 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 a method of kuni keep kwa church but i did it mhm kaanza sunday school mimi nikakuwa najipanganga kufika saa to hivi na nikapanga na mtu mtu na story story ya kwenda kuambia watoto you know mm-hmm. so ikani kajipata naanza kusoma bible mm-hmm. nijue stories za moses nijue stories za nani mm-hmm za Elisha prophet aliomba ma, moto ikashuka ikachoma uh-huh. you know unaambia watoto mm. alafu natafuta masongo za kuimba it reached a point i grew eh? nikaanza kutumika hiyo church watoi wengine sasa hizi I, i i remember one mm. anaitwa Marion sasa hizi yako Nairobi University mm-hmm. uh, alini approach facebook 
eh hey, ndio shocked eh hey, amekuwa mtu mkubwa mm. na bado ananikumbuka you know tuliacha impact niliacha impact. impact because it reached a point uh, nikaform because I, I love singing i love songs mm-hmm. niliunda group ilikuwa inaitwa jet mm-hmm. there's a, a, a person a jamaa alikuwa nga ana people is pia alikuwa anapenda god mm-hmm. so alikuja through yeye akatusaidia tukaunda group inaitwa jet mm-hmm. Ijet ni kuimba. Ijet eh ni ni, for, ni short form ya Junior Evangelical Team. Mhm. Alafu akatubrandia aka mashati na, na na pesa yake akatubrandia mashati ilikuwa white mm-hmm. na black. Mm-hmm. So unapata wale wakubwa wanava black white alafu wadogo wale wanava black. Mm-hmm. Tunaka fit na Junior Evangelical Team. Mm-hmm. Tunajifunza ku dance so ikafika process they wali tukaanza kukuwa haya ndio kwa maharusi. Tunaenda tuna dance kwa harusi mbaya sasa ni tuko hapo. Tumeiweka ngoma tunakatika alafu tunapewa food na katoken kidogo and it was yeah ikakuanza kukuwafiti hivyo hivyo and it grew mhm the churches around sasa the gospel the full gospel churches zikaanza ku kutu wakaanza kutu mimi sasa ni sema kutu copy eh ndio ilifika wakati tunaanza kuitisha eh ma challenge sasa zile ma, ma challenge za za za, za zinaitwa Sunday school challenges mm-hmm. challenge tunaenda tunakutana Sunday school churches kama tisa tunafanya a song mm-hmm. the best group inapewa biblia mm-hmm. the best uh, teacher inapewa so mimi nilijipata and since nikaanza kufunza hiyo tulikuwa number one all through standard 7 8 nikaenda form 1 I was still the the the, the teacher mm-hmm. nikifunga shule na rudi nikienda mama kinyi mm-hmm. anashikilia so yeah so ikaenda hivyo hivyo with the best group paka nikamaliza form 4 so after there sasa ndo maisha yangu ikaanza nikakuwa adulting ikaanza mimi ndio huyo eh nikajipata sasa nimeondoka ile place mm-hmm. kuja kutafuta sasa greener pastures eh sasa nianze masomo hivi mm. ndio hapo sasa kidogo kidogo god nasema ga god alinisaidia juu mimi kupata hii job mm-hmm. ilikuwa god mm-hmm. uh, because i remember bwana mimi now hapo oh. no, ndo tunaenda sasa next hey. <laughs> <laughs> now the journey of no trusting the god's plan crossing the god plans uh, ilianza il, il aje hiyo hiyo safari sasa ilianza hivi eh mimi nimetoka kwa background moja mm-hmm. unaweza ona sasa hivi fikiri jamaa wazazi wake ni matajiri alikafunga kitambo ah nimetoka kwa background <laughs> moja hambo sana but i thank god because god akiamua ni wewe hata yeah. uende wapi akuachangi ni wewe, wewe. Ni wewe. Eh hey, God ame to lift ame to say dear. Mm. And uh, story lianza like this. Mm-hmm. Me si kwa na good father. Yeyote mwenye angesema ange ni say dear. Mm. And the way I saw my mom struggling somo yetu nini mambo mingi. Mimi nikasema eh hey, mimi mom hautanilipia sasa college mm. umefanya high school primary tena unataka mimi mam mimi nataka kukuja nifanye nikufanyie kitu mm. nataka kukuja nikusaidie yes so mimi nilianza anga tu kuanza ku trust ni god yes sina god father but nilijua niko na god the father mhm ambaye yako juu ah nikambia god mimi mimi nataka tu nipe job hii mambo ya masomo sasa hii ah. nitasoma nikipata job yangu mm. nisaidie mama mm. mama na grow hold na mimi ningetaka kumsaidia mm-hmm. nikuje nimpe hand because ya siblings wangu mm. walikuja baadaye wadogo mm. and i saw ah, it's a chance mimi mzee wacha mimi pia ni tafu so mimi nilianza anga tu na god pale nilienda pia nikashikilia church deliverance church So nimekuwa tu college na ina mm. church 31st uruka mwaka ya yeah, the uh, the prophet of god alikuwa anaitwa 
prophet pastor um, Benjamin Otieno mm-hmm. hawa tu siwezi wasahau walikuwa transition kwangu walikuwa bridge so kuwasahau hiyo itakuwa ni makosa sana 31st mimi nimejitoa hapo wazee nimeenda kanisa <laughs> alafu nimekaa huko nyuma mm-hmm. eh jamaa naomba pale nimefika saa ya maombi mm-hmm. Anaomba naomba alafu anasema kule kijana ako pale nyuma mm-hmm. Mungu amekusikia kuja Eh nikaangalia nani mwingine ako nyuma yangu wapi ni mimi ni mimi anasema <laughs> Nilejua nilisimama nikaangalia ni nani akakuja mm-hmm. akanishika akanipeleka mbele Mhm eh akaniambia Mungu amesikia maombi yako You will not go to college utamaliza masomo wewe Mungu anataka kukupea kazi uh-huh. and i'm seeing you na kuona kwa kikosi ya jeshi i'm seeing you that you how you, you are doing training uh-huh. and i was like oh god nilikuwa watu wanasema anga flabbergasted ama hiyo ni english mzuri kweli flabbergasted yeah nilishangaa sana eh god eh na ikakuwa mm-hmm. ni hivyo amesema hivyo mm. so mimi ni hapo ndo nilianza process ya ku trust god's yeah. plan uh-huh. kujua god akieka plan kwa maisha yako hata uende ukwe jona unajua ukwe jona yani ukatai toroke ukimbie utakupata utamezwa tu na samaki penye utakuwa ikurudisha kwa plan ya god God mm. plan yake lazima ikuwe fulfilled. Lazima ikuwe fulfilled. Hata ukwe Jona. Uliona Jona alikata mambo ya God. Yaani anasikia God kabisa ndio huyo God anaongea. Alafu anakata story za God na hepa. Na hepa. God anamweka kwa samaki. Kwa ngapi? Tatu. Anamrudisha kwa plan yake. Uwezi hapa plan ya God. Mhm. God akishakuwekea zila mekumak. Plan yake ni ngumu sana kuepa. Mm. Atakurudisha tu. Na sisi ndio tunafanyanga maisha yetu inakuwa ngumu. You know um, unaona Jonah mm-hmm. wa samaki ina symbolize the the pain, the hardship you have to pay. You have to pay the consequences mm-hmm. of not obeying mm-hmm. God's voice or God's plan in your life. Mm-hmm. Yeye aliyekuwa siku tatu kwa tumbo ya samaki. Uh-huh. Sisi hatujui tutakaa siku ngapi na hiyo hardship na hiyo pain na hiyo loss of job uh-huh. na hiyo kukosa ya yeah, kukosa amani mm-hmm. inaweza kuwa 10 years. Mm-hmm. Na nyisi hata utakuwa delay you will just be delaying God's plan in your life. Postponing. Una postpone ni wewe. Si yeye si God ni wewe. You're making it to take longer. To take long. But ukianza ku obey God's plan Mm-hmm. ukiona kama Abraham mm-hmm. aliobey God anamwambia chinja kijana kijana wake wa pekee anafuata obedience obedience unaona mm-hmm. sasa zingine God anatumia kitu kutu test the way he tested Abraham Abraham kwenda kuja God akasema wewe wacha 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 angalia nyuma yako kuna nini hivyo ndio atasema kwa maisha yetu anakuambia Chris Sell that TV. Mm-hmm. Kuna jamaa pale anatajusa hizi. Sell that TV. Chukua hiyo pesa peweka ijenge kanisa. Mhm. Wewe without questioning without unachukua TV ule ndio unauza. Unaenda we have intention ya kuuza. You don't have a job. But you have a TV. Mhm. God anaku we are praying for a job. Unambia God kila siku unapiga magoti unambia God God ni said a job nataka eh. Mhm. You don't have a job but you have a TV. Now God tells you sell that TV and give. Wewe unahitaji kukuobedient. Unachukua TV unaenda. Mm-hmm. The karibu uze hivi God anasema acha acha acha. Anakupea job. That's the way to go. That's what happened to Abraham. Mhm. Wacha usikate kijana kuna angalia nyuma yako. May provide sa zingine god we don't pray god akujibu directly sa zingine anakupea situation fulani ambayo itaku lead kwa blessings yako what you need to do is not being ignorant mm-hmm. just obey because god is god 
anasema kwa kitabu yake mwenyewe mm-hmm. Jeremiah that akona plan ya kukuprosper mm-hmm. plan ya kukujenga yeah. sio plan ya kukuharibu he knew you before you were born mm-hmm. Bro, sijui kama unapata hii kitu. God alipujua kama bado uko kwa tumbo ya mama yako. Wewe wewe mwenyewe ni idea yake. Alafu unakuja kwa hii dunia una worry kwa nini? Just trust God's plan. Eh? Yeah? Yeah, amekuwa sure. Mm-hmm. Amekujua before you were born. And the plan that I could nayo kwa life yako si ya kukuua, mm-hmm. si ya kukutesa, mm-hmm. ni ya kukuprosper, ni ya kukufanya ukuwe mtu katika hii dunia to accomplish purpose yake. Aha. Uh-huh. tunakataa kumsikia. Anasema fanya hii. Ah bana mimi siwezi uza TV. Mimi siwezi uza TV. Hii TV yangu sasa nikiuza nitakuwa naona nini. Nitakuwa naona nini kivuli. Na wewe? <laughs> wewe sasa hizo. You think you, you now tunaanza kuingia kwa kwa knowledge yetu. Aha. You know as Christian we really need to pray for God's wisdom, God's knowledge. Aha. Godly. Mm-hmm. God akupe wisdom. Eh? Yeah? God akufungulie spiritual eyes, spiritual ears so that you can hear him akiongea mm. you can see him akitokea mm-hmm. your life is spiritual most of people think when a whole life yao no god akona hivi kwa mkono remember mm-hmm. the first breath to man mm-hmm. it was god it was his it was his anaweza chukua hivi ni ndio activation energy anaweza chukua dakika moja and you are no more so how has, how has been life in the battlefield like as a soldier like because i know that's why you know trust the god's plan mambo ya kicheunka sasa mimi ndio huyo after prophet kuniambia hivyo so nili kuja na nikakuwa na hiyo idea so yeah. god you really answer me mm-hmm. and you want me to be a soldier nikaanza sasa mm-hmm. kwenda kwa newspaper kuangalia mm-hmm. kuangalia ma recruitment niko lini nini sasa hizo niko college zini aha uh-huh. eh ai kupita mwaka si tumefanya tumeruka mwaka tumeingia mm-hmm. unaona february si a, 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 a recruitment mm-hmm. and i don't want to tell anyone I just want to do it myself nataka nisonge pale mm-hmm. because nime jua god ako na mimi god si amesema mimi nitakuwa hii kitu uh-huh. let me trust this plan i'm going and i'm flowing na plan yake and i really i said nataka kusaidia mama ndasoma tu mm-hmm. i'll ndajisomesha na pesa zangu mm-hmm. baadaye you know mm-hmm. mimi ndio huyo actually nilihepa college okay. my my colleagues don't know where i went up to today na nilihepa nikisema kikiumana <laughs> si tutarudi wapi mhm si ukadifa i did ah do you mean me recruitment ground nimeingia hapo mm-hmm. na god uh-huh. mimi sina mtu atanisa nimeingia hapo na god i tell you god alifanya mambo mhm wakasema tukimbie mbio karibu 12 kilometers nikasema si god amesema hiki tu ninakimbia twende twende kaende kae twende kaende ndio huyo mimi ndio huyo mimi ndio huyo mimi nikarudi namba 8 kwa among the people wenye unajua ile kafika madi wanakata sasa hata kama umekimbia wewe fika late weka wapi yani <laughs> kakuwa ndani ya ile kato cut out eh bado nasema eh god eh ni by your strength mimi mm-hmm. najua ulisema uh-huh. sasa mimi niko na wewe mm-hmm. eh eh ndio hiyo mambo mambo hapo nini 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 medical mm-hmm. in the last process Hey, alafu wanataka kaka kitu. Najua watu wengi wanasema anga nini huu, oh, wanataka kaka kitu. Mm-hmm. Mimi sina nini? Nataka kitu. But niko na nani? God the Father. <laughs> Nambia God kwani wewe ukisema nitakuwa hapa. Kama uliko unajua unataka kaka kitu, ah. so ungenipeika kitu nikuje nayo. Ah but nambia God wewe fanya hivi. Sort your issues out. Mimi mm-hmm. sasa hapa. <laughs> No, na niliona god mm-hmm. Ju, i remember the person mwenye alikuwa anasimamia the recruitment mm-hmm. came in kwa kwa center uh-huh. akasema yeye ataki corruption aha uh-huh. 
the corruption kumbe ilikuwa hapa chini yao wengine hao kuna majuniors. eh wanachukua lakini yeye alisimama na akaingia wapi pale kwa kwa, kwa medical pale ah. tumewekwa ah. kaima fulani na ah. akakana sisi hapo nyinyi ndio mmequalify eh mmepeana nini mimi nilikuwa kwanza kusema hakuna hakuna ndio <laughs> sasa eh hey, god kama hapa kuna <laughs> eh hey, alafu akachukua kiti ya kaketi hapo a watu wapimwe nini mm-hmm. eh hey, wanapimanga mavitu mavitu hapo Eh hey, bwana ule jamaa ana kuna macho ameniangalia na jua huyu jamaa Guess what Tulikuwa round karibu kumi. mimi tume qualify kuingia medical mm-hmm. wakapima Dawa sezi kaenda wrong zote mm, Ndio oh, unasikia yako na kanini sili mm-hmm. eh hey, mambo yake si safi mwilini nini Mimi bwana nilikuwa A1 kila kitu ilipimika kwenye inafaa eh hey, b- level sugar nini pa mama unapima urine eh hey, iko, iko sawa na sasa hiyo hiyo corruption ilikuwa ina happen chini hey. ilikuwa ina run aje juu hapo unajua ni facility uweze ingia na hand over bana wale watu wamejipanga na watu mpaka walikuwa wameandika kwa miguu mm. kwa miguu hapa chini Aha. mtu ameandika ile pesa ako nayo so ni kumaanisha alikuwa anajua mimi mguu yangu ni, me, ni niliosha asubuhi <laughs> ni safi wajitoa kama dabiu <laughs> wanasema unua mguju nadhani wanapima sijui nini ha. kama unaweza weka mguu straight namna hii kumbe kunua mguju ni oh, kuangalia figures, figures. I'm very glad kuunua namna hii naambiwa rudisha wewe chini kwa safi mimi sijui nilijua baadaye hiyo maneno vile ilikuwa inaenda ya yeah, kaunta wewe kwa CRB. Haina kitu. <laughs> Asa wewe jamaa ameingia akaketi hapo. Ni mm-hmm. big sasa ndio ana run. Kuketi hapo wakapima wakapima. Mhm. Wase wangapi? Watatu. Mm-hmm. Ndio wali. Ah wengine sasa saba kando. Tara tatu tumebaki. Mimi nikiwa kwanza mambo yangu iko sawa wewe mwingine. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Na wanataka watu wangapi? Wawili. Na tuko wangapi? Mm-hmm. Na remember mimi sina kaki? Mhm. Mguu wangu ni sa? Nimeosha <laughs> asubuhi. Wale wanyama kama mguu wangu wametora <laughs> matatu. <laughs> But bado naambia God eh. Thank you kwa kunifikisha hapa. Mm-hmm. Remember keep bless kidogo. Mhm. I want to get this job. I know. I want to get this final thing. Eh. Hey! ndosi kaketi hapo sasa naangalia sasa bwana wanafanya sasa bali imepakia mm. wanataka wangapi so ni kupima macho ambe ufunge hivi unaangalia pale unasoma ile ka staff Tuka, tukapita wote uh-huh. tatu tee ukatuweka kuweka kwa ma trial sap wote watatu bado tunatoshare mm-hmm. the other guy is struggling to eliminate mimi kwa sababu sina kaki then I don't know. Mali litokea. Yule mkubwa akasema, "Sasa naona nyinyi watatu mmekataa kuachana." Mhm. Hmm? Akasema, "Sasa eh mimi naona tutamalizia hapa na nataka eh mtu tuombee hapa." Mhm. Ni mmekuwa successful. Tutamalizia hapa tutaona vile si mimi nikajua ah kikwamba tu so tuliunua mkono tukiwa wawili mm-hmm. mimi nimeunua ule jamaa kumbe tulinua tu hivi jamaa mmoja ni kama mambo na maombi kidogo kumbe ilikuwa ni challenge nyingine akaambia wewe jamaa mwingine ayasimama juu penduka angalia mlango mm-hmm. tembea mpaka kwenu na usirudi hapa tena like unajua pale wanaongea kwa kadi pale hakuna kuembeleza like yeah. yule jamaa anajua hiyo ni pesa imefukuzwa hakuna ah, kikinya kuna kitu atafanya mimi mwenye nimebaka imebaki hapo mm. even ndo nilijipata even ndo nilijipata nimekuja nikawa na nikaendelea 
na God akanisimamia mm. na nimesimama mpaka leo na God amekuwa faithful so zingine kuna changamoto mm. but mimi nimejifunza kitu moja ku depend kwa God mm-hmm. like sina God provide mm-hmm. because God is the provider yeah. hii pesa tunapata hizi magari manyumba ni ana provide mm. anaweza amua zichukue because dhahabu na fedha ni zake ni zake mm. Mm, that journey. Hadi uanda na mguu imeoshwa safi. Wengine wako na figures algebra kwa mguu. God nimeona akinifanya maneno maneno mpaka wa leo hii. Mhm. Mimi nasema ngatu asante. Na he came nime manage kufanya makosa hapa na pale. Mhm. Ile mambo ya kusema kusoma nimefanya mabitu mabitu hapa na pale. Sasa hizi mimi kidogo hivi. Eh nizaongea Kiingereza kama watu wengine. Naweza 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 kama mbele ya watu na ni chomweka kitu ya. Yeah. Okay, so God alini alisikiza maombi yangu mm-hmm. na akanitendea. Sijafika bado sijafika lakini I'm still trusting the Lord's plan in my life. Mm-hmm. Kuna mahali anataka nikue the purpose. Najua kwa hii dunia kila mtu ako na purpose yake. Mm-hmm. Na ukimaliza anga papas unachukuliwa anga goda na kurestisha papasi yako ikiisha narudi home unarudi home that's the the sad truth watu wajawai understand mm. ambao watu watakangi ku understand mm-hmm. you have a papas oh unakumbuka goda ki aki aki kutaku aki kutengeneza ili kuokuja kumwabudu goda haja kutengeneza for fun atuko kwa hii dunia for fun mm. and that's why bungu, binguni tukienda ni kuimba na kusipo kutoka asubuhi mpaka jioni kazi ya huko chini imeisha kutoka asubuhi mpaka yani ni kuimba na kusifu <laughs> kwani tunaimbia nani na kusifu nani uh-huh. mungu mwenyewe ni mungu mwenyewe so hapa duniani pia ni the same mm. but watu walikuja waka change kila kitu wakaanza kufanya maneno yao kwa busy eh So what do you think in a kuanga ngumu watu ku trust the will of God in their life na plan ya God? Eh mimi ninaweza sema ile kitu na unanga inafanya wase jamaa anachoka tu anakataa kuanza ku trust. Mm. Unajua eh, in order for you to really stick na plan ya God. Mm. Kuna kitu tumeongea hapo awali na nikakwambia inaitwa obedience the lord anapenda mtu akopigent kwa kitu mm. yani akisema kitu usianze kumdoubt kama mungu mungu mm-hmm. you know god created the sun imaji imaji mm-hmm. hii ndo alipartition mm-hmm. Wachana na scientist wamekuja hapa wameanza kutuambia roga watu kesho. Oh, yeah, the mist ikienda ji condense <laughs> inakuwa rain na rudi tena. <laughs> no. God ndo anachilia ngamvua. Mhm. Pia anaweza kataa kuachilia. Eh? Mm. So kama God yani una deny God alikuumba alikuumba god ndo alitengeneza jua jua yenye iko million kilometers away mm-hmm. lakini inawakanga inakuchoma unasema unaanza kulalamika unasema eh hey, inawaka inapea wengine kansa inawaka inaharibu mazao if that sun is powerful na ni god ndo ali create mm-hmm. the sun is powerful nani god ndo ali create mm. hebu imagine sasa god ni nani combine hii power yote hizi vitu wote ame create in exodus wakati moses eh alikuwa anabishana na god anambia god eh hey, mimi mimi nataka kukuona mm-hmm. god anamwambia ukiniona utakufa ukiniona you cannot see my face you will die hmm anamuonesha mgongo peke yake. Mm-hmm. Juu sasa Moses ame amekuwa stable na anataka kuona God. Akona confidence. Mm-hmm. 
Ana muonyesha nini? Mgongo. Kuna mahali akienda kuchukua ile hizo ten commandments aliona mkono tu. God is powerful. God is powerful. He can make a way where seems to be no way. Ana partition maji watu mm. wanapita. Mm. Eh? Yeah? God ana partition maji. Imagine 2020 pale Indian Ocean. Anakata hivi unatembea mnatokea TZ. Alafu anaifunika. Alafu anarudisha. <laughs> you know some people you don't need to doubt God. We don't need God is power. He's the owner of everything. Mm. Just by word of mouth. Aliongea tu hivi. Mm. Kitu ikatokea. Kukuwe na samaki. Samaki kakutokea. Kukuwe na kadogi. Kukuwe na omena, omena, omena. Kukuwe na Nazi katokea, you know? Ni the same way. Mm-hmm. Anaweza sema my son na ukuwe na maisha mzuri. Na kuwe na pesa. Kuwe na kazi. Kuwe na bibi mzuri. Kuwe na watoto wazuri. Mm-hmm. Uishi vizuri. You know? Bottom line ni obedience. Obedience. Obey. Kile kitu God anakuambia. What leads to people kuondoka kwa God's plan ni disobedience. Mm-hmm. Yeah, ataki obey kile kitu God anakuambia. And he says, you know God uses men. Mm-hmm. Men of God. God uh, kila mtu kwa hii dunia kuna gift mm-hmm. ya ku communicate na God. Ile alikupea list ni kuomba. Mm-hmm. Unaona? The only way the the, the kuongea na God you you pray, you know. And you come ni kama alo. Mhm. Yeah, yeah, another song. Alo binguni. <laughs> alo binguni. <laughs> eh hey, nataka gari, you know. <laughs> Mekoda. People think that is a joke. Yeah. That guy sang spiritually ukika to sp- understand. Mm-hmm. We only need to Hello God. Your son Nataka here. gari. Mm-hmm. Nataka nyumba. Nataka bibi. Nataka kazi. Mm-hmm. You believe, you trust. Faith. You don't know whatever you shall ask, believe and it shall be given. And in the book of uh, of uh, it is Matthew 7:7 ask, ask knock mm-hmm. seek you know seek is a continuous word yeah mm-hmm. nikitu unafanya see at progressive mara moja mm-hmm. unaona mm-hmm. so that means pia god anataka kukuwa persuade anataka kutafutwa the seriousness the seriousness anataka kutafutwa tafuta uwepo tafuta face ya god mm-hmm. seeking How do we do that? Praying. Eh? Going to read the word. Mhm. Eh? Hii ndio kutafuta uso wa Bwana. Na akiona you are really obeying the 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 command, eh? Akiona you are really at you have a thirst. Mhm. For him. God utokea. I release God the blessing. Come. Blessing zake zinashuka. Na utawahi kosa because god akiwa na wewe mm. <laughs> hata mashetani wajijaze wangapi hawezi kuweka chini na kwa biblia tunaona god every story he was in it started with maybe messy it was mm. messy mm. but at the end he emerged victorious victory 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 So hakuna venye uta trust God uko kwa shida mm-hmm. you trust God na udhani utakaa hivyo milele Awezi. victory Awezi. victory at the end of the victory mm-hmm. lazima victory tatokea ndio God ametupeleka kwa a lot of story of victory but the problem ni most of us are to preserving the testimonies so we don't we have nothing to bounce back to mm-hmm. when we are facing the new thing because Israelites ndo wa win another victory walikuwa na go to the testimony yeah. Yeah, the God who won when the uh, Philistines woke up against us when the Bashan whatever mm. they were reminding God the victories mm. and then make them trust even more mm. but i think if we can be preserving our testimonies mm. this should be a way of motivating us to believe that God who did it yesterday will mm. do it again yes yes that is God mm-hmm. 
na ya god ikujangimbio you know why people don't know wanatoka kwa plan ya god wanafikiri ngati sasa utaomba tu sasa hii kesho asubuhi mhm iko hapo tap no remember matthew 7 seek seek seek, seek. ni kitu continuous mungu anataka kutafutwa mm-hmm. mungu anataka kutafutwa mungu anataka kutafutwa si wale watu wa kuchoka haraka uh, you don't off. need you know hata kwa bibi wale watu walikuwa wa, na wa god kabisa wali undergo mm-hmm. a lot of pain mm-hmm. look at jesus alikuwa anajua wili ya god kwa maisha yake amekuja kufanya nini mm-hmm. alijua atapitia pain but alivumilia unaona yuko vumilia kupchapwa ku kudungwa mkuki mm. kuwekelewa miba mm. alafu at the end ni victory anafufuka is just a simple unajua this story of jesus kukufa na kufuka people think it's a uh, transition no 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 it's something god wanted to communicate and if you read the bible na god akupa understanding mm. you will see ikukufa kwa yesu na kufufuka it means at the end of every pain mm-hmm. kuna victory the crown a victory if you walked with god the glory you know god does not promise ati akutakuwa na storm mm-hmm. he will be there he with promises you. that he will be with you through in the storm, the storm through the storm you know and if he, he is there with you at the end there is victory 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 assured victory assured victory you see so what when you feel eh who you god is ya kafanya leo mm-hmm. unaona wana intend kwenda kwa mabitu za dunia kama nasikia ziku na mama ma worship the devil devil atakupea asubuhi sasa hii hata ukitaka sasa hii atakupea mm-hmm. but i last inaenda vile imekuja tena inaenda na mingi inaenda hata mpaka na wewe mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. but god akikupea you know It's sweet reading the bible is sweet imagine god and ambia abraham i will bless your descendants kumaanisha to four to four generations kumaanisha hii blessings ya abraham peke yake hii this hii blessings near descendant hiyo lineage yote ili blessiwa mm-hmm. imagine god anakuambia hivyo sasa hizi chris i'll bless back your descendants mm. alifanya hivyo si kwa sababu Abraham alikuwa Abraham alimwombei Abraham alijenga faith kwa mm-hmm. God You know this faith Faith is obedience by the way Faith is o- kukua na imani kwa Mungu ni, ni obedience too mm-hmm. You see it's the same Unajua uwezi 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 okay <laughs> Kukua na hiyo imani ni kukua na faith Kukua yeah. na faith Kukua na kukua na hiyo imani ni kukua na faith Mm-hmm. Kwa na kwa you obey God mm-hmm. of faith in him atatenda mm-hmm. you don't have money right now for rent but unajua uko hapa mm-hmm. and you're doing the right things taking the first step to look to him yes. his obedience of acknowledging him as the supreme of all hiyo tu you know God is life God himself mm-hmm. is life mm-hmm. So taking the first step of you saying I love him I acknowledge him mm. that he died for me for my sins Yo peke yake You are now aligning yourself to God's plan eh na nikuonesha you trust him you depend on him depend on him that's now hapo mali kuna kuzia na faith obedience Mm-hmm. You know if you, you, you nakwambia kusoma Biblia ni mzuri sana kwa sababu anasema watakao niamini nilikufa hao wamesamehewa mm-hmm. na wameokolewa mm-hmm. kumaanisha usipoamini ni opposite simple true ni opposite hakuna otherwise hakuna otherwise mm-hmm. you see kuamini kuamini mm-hmm. yeye yeah, yeah ni mkombozi wa maisha yako. Eh? Anakutumia Roho Mtakatifu ikuje ikuongoze. Mm. Sasa usipoamini wewe uko peke yako, you operating Bagi, on your own. Bagi uko uwanja. 
Yani wewe una operate on your own without God imagine how life can be. Tough. Yes. Very very tough. Very tough. God is life. Having God in your life hiyo uko na maisha. And a life I'm talking about here is eternal life. Mm-hmm. Yes. Eternal life. So you have a good life down here and you have a eternal life assured. Assured. So living in God's plan begins with salvation, accepting Be- him. Accepting because him. Because you never walk with somebody whom you're not in relationship with. Yes. And you never obey somebody whom you are not subjected to. Mm. Mm. Like I don't know ni book is it John? Eh? Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm. John 1 is it John John, uh, John 1:11 mm-hmm. 13 maybe i can read eh? John 1:11 13 I can read so that we understand eh? mm-hmm. i kuka kwa god's plan nini hiyo inaanzanga aje inaanzanga tu na salvation to enjoy the heritage of god blessing azimo oh. kwa in the family john yes mm-hmm. it's john 1 mm-hmm. 11 kwa like hapo chini was not wrong verse 11 he came to that which was his own mm-hmm. but his own did not receive, receive him. him yet to all who received him to those who believed in his name mm-hmm. he gave the right to to become children of God. God children born not for natural descent mm-hmm. nor of human decision mm-hmm. or husband's will mm-hmm. but born of God. God the word became flesh and Mary is dwelling among us mm-hmm. we have seen his glory the glory of the one and only who became son. from the father Mm-hmm. full of grace mm-hmm. and truth. Mm-hmm. John testified concerning him. Mm-hmm. He cries out saying, this was he of whom I said, he who comes after me has surpassed me because he was before mm-hmm. me. From the full fullness of his grace, we have all received one blessings after another. Mm-hmm. For the law was given through Moses. Grace and truth came through Jesus Christ. No one has ever seen God, but God, the one and only, who is at the Father's side, mm-hmm. has made him known. Whoever came for his own his own did not accept him then the gate was open for everybody yes anyone who is willing and ready mm. to accept becomes and as a, as, a, as a son you have the right for everything that your father has yeah so everything we are, we are worried about up at Chidi, mm-hmm. our father has them but are, we to, are we ready we, we are doubting is nimekwambia tuna doubting god Like say hizi <laughs> eh wewe unataka okay you want to succeed unaona unaona maisha ukifunganga macho yako hivi unaona eh hey, nyumba mzuri gari mzuri lakini una doubt una sawa the one who released his idea mzuri kwa akili yako those things that you see in his yako they are actually yours that's why siwezi ona kitu naona <laughs> siwezi ona capacity ya nyumba unaona na siwezi ona gari unaona we see things different Act- those are actually our things yes you know what do mimi ushanga yani god anaweza tengeneza jua god anaweza tengeneza akatai kukupea kagari kagari hawezi ka, ka, bibi hawezi bibi akatai kukupea tu na kona tenda <laughs> yani I, i we just need this eh? obedience mm-hmm. faith trust in him wait on him wait on him patience not doubting god's will you know when you accept only only oh no god god the father mm-hmm. the son and the holy spirit mm-hmm. 
Ni moja. So when God sends all his spirit to be with you as we understand mm -hmm. Holy Spirit is a person. Mm -hmm. Holy Spirit is sent to be with you, guide you and teach you. Teach you. Mm -hmm. Uyo bado ni God. See? He sent his omnipresent version of himself. Yes. But as a sijui sisi wanadamu tulifika wapi? Yaani tumedanganywa, tumedanganywa. You know Satan has a tendency of doing things bubble bubble. Yaani anatokelezea hivi anapoka tulipoka tulipoka. Na vitu za Satan hizo sweet, but they don't last. The God will last. Zinaweza kuja slow venye inataka. Mm, people don't like patience. Yeah. So patience of an angle to be prefer the, the microwave part. Yes, that's why God sent you all the spirit as a person. Na hiyo ni gifts. Mm. The gifts of all the spirit kuna patience, mm -hmm. self control. Mm -hmm. Name them. Quite a lot. You need them. To keep you in the journey. Yes. To keep you hapo kwa plan yake. Remember God's plan si kukumaliza. You see? You see this premature death mm -hmm. nini nini mm -hmm. ni because unaondoka kwa plan ya god nimesema pale nyuma sorry ya jona jona aliondoka akamezwa na nini fish imagine kukaa kuka kwa tumbo ya papa kuna mafupa huko papa inakulanga vitu pia zingine mm -hmm. so yani wewe hiyo ni signs of suffering yani ni signs of different yani alituone you understanding in a get ni kutuonesha you toka kwa plan ya god then you will suffer kuna consequences na za sasa mm. unapata kuna premature death mm -hmm. kuna mambo mingi hata hii premature death ni suffering mm -hmm. ni hiyo kukaa kwa tumbo ya samaki because you have failed to follow god's plan god i wish you kufe mapema mm -hmm. you see I want you to live and be in good health yes. to prosper yes both physical and spiritual Yes. Wow. So as we come to the close of the discussion for the day, there's somebody maybe a couple enjoy is wondering how can I trust God and vlumonge about how God has taken you through the journey. What, what will will be your message to that person that they wait and expect of the Lord? It's simple. Very simple. Mhm. Mm allow god in your life mm -hmm. like i've said god is life mm -hmm. god is life allow god and you receive life a new a rebirth allow god mm -hmm. give him space yeah? create a space in your heart mm -hmm. so that god will come in and and the manifest steps zake mm -hmm. God akiwa na wewe eh? kila kitu enda vizuri God ako na plan mm -hmm. it's just us to allow him Align. and when we allow him mm -hmm. it means we are aligning to his plan so we allow him mm -hmm. to guide us yeah eh, Matthew is it Matthew 28 mhm mm 1128 yeah bad is sorted mhm yeah? got it wake up okay kwa sababu yeye ndo alikuumba in fact he is in charge wewe ni unanganga na mambo mingi na najua every stage yes cast your burdens unto jesus for he cares for you you know <laughs> your song to my child was Sunday school nowadays yes but it, it means a lot mm mwalau kwa life yako and how to do that accept him you've read John mm. uh, John 1:14 uh, accept mm. your savior mm. that's the first step allow him mm -hmm. allow the holy spirit to come and fellowship with you allow him in your life mm. <laughs> second step read his words from a biblia you know when you read god anakuanga tu na wewe hapo Pray. Pray. You know, Matthew 7, 7. Mm. Ask and you will be given. We don't just ask. How do we ask? Through prayers. Through prayer. Mm. Through prayers. 
knock, you knock through prayers. Mm -hmm. Yes, the prayers, the church service, you go, mm -hmm. you pray there. In the morning, you ask God, seek. God will appear. God will come. Mm -hmm. You see the way Elisha called God. Mm -hmm. Then Elisha, Alimuita Mungu. It was prayer. Elisha made a prayer, by the way. Sia kumuita tu atibaya, God, kuja. Apana, he made a prayer. With faith. Knowledge. With faith. Ali make prayer. And Alita go to Maratatu. Na kakuja kama moto. Pia wewe, unaeza ita God. Marangapi. Utai muita sana. Marangapi. Na kuje kama moto. Hizo shida zako zote, achome. Kukosa siju nini, achome. Job, upate. Ototo wako, watasoma. Kama kuna shida siju ya uko, atachoma. Kama kuna siju nini nafanyika, you have a hardship in your heart, atachoma. So, it's just us to allow God. Pray. Seek, ask him, God, here am I. I don't have school fees, mm -hmm. but Lord, you brought me this far. Yeah, nimefika hapa, niko shule. School fees inakosekana kwa nini, God. God, I pray. God, I'm asking you humbly from my heart. Mm -hmm. I have faith that mm -hmm. God, you will provide. Mm -hmm. He's a father. He's a father. He will listen to you. You know? Mm -hmm. Yes. The problem, we don't ask. And if we ask, we don't believe. Yes. Now, my theme here, or my key word here is obey. Just have obedience. Obedience comes about with faith. You know, when you you, you obey, kuna vitu unaungazia, kama faith, you trust in God. Atatenda. Trust. Atafanya. Amefanyia wengi sana. You remember when Jesus was alikuwa na pita maali then that woman haka mshika ngu. Yesu wakasikia kama kuna power zake zimepotea kidogo. Alingangana kapita ndani ya watu wakafanya nini? The other one malipitisho kwa roof. Remember what Jesus said. I'll use it in Swahili. Imani yako so you need faith and you love it all mm -hmm. you need obedience and you'll find yourself on God's plan if you don't obey you'll find yourself doing your own things that is now your plan mm -hmm. but if you obey you'll align to God's plan, plan. and his plans and plans are perfect <laughs> That's all. Yes. Awesome. This has been an impactful session. Thank you. Thank you once again for coming. And uh, really appreciate for honoring the invitation. And I hope to have you more and more and more as time progresses. Yes. Yes. So, to you out there, you have heard what really has come across. The word of God does not come in vain. It's timed and it's for a purpose. So, as the Lord has spoken to you through this podcast you continue to be blessed and do what you hear because doing is the powerful point of hearing so may the lord bless you and uh, kindly subscribe to this channel if you are blessed with this content and like don't just subscribe because you want to subscribe but let's make an impact in your life if this contest resonates with you subscribe support and let the christian community also be reached with this so Lord reach you and uh, bless you at all levels of your life. I've been your host, DJC254. And with my brother, we say thank you. Thank you so much for listening to us. And may God bless you. God bless you. Trust in God's plan. Align in God's plan. Have faith and obey. Faith and obedience. Mm -hmm. Then. Mountain moves. Yes. That's all for today. God bless you.
Oh, 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 oh,